Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Would so we're going to start off with Ariel's Pale Skin and you're going to use your E triple O as your base. Just try and make it nice and even and then you're going to start with the shadows with E double O just following around the outlines of the face. It helps to have references so that you know where the shading will probably be on your face but in general it'll be around the edges make it look a bit 3D by the nose and along the cheeks to give a nice kind of pink blush look also around the neck and by the arms I tend to not draw in the collarbone but I colour it in with Copics because it tends to look a bit more natural. So once you've done your shading with the E double O you're going to want to blend it in with the E triple O and it'll make everything look nice, smooth and blended in. And you'll just keep doing that to get your nice dark looking colours and making everything look all natural and smooth. Now for her cheeks I like to use R double O and R eleven and that will get you your nice like flushed blushing look and just blend that in and go over the rest of the face with the E triple O so that it will look smooth. You will always want to try and make everything look blended so you will probably need to go over over it quite a bit so that it looks all natural and blended which is quite time consuming of course so now for your main shadowing you're going to want to use your E31 and just go around the most shadow, shadowed places like the nose under by the neck and this will give you drawing more depth and make the skin look more realistic and then you'll blend it in with your E triple O I also like to use a bit of black colour pencil because it adds more depth I use my black colour pencil for almost everything because then you get that depth to your drawing that you wouldn't normally get with only Copic now we're going to do the lips colour pencil has more precision than Copic so I tend to use colour pencil you're going to use your peach coloured Faber-Castell colour pencil and just go along the outline of the lip to get your nice kind of lipstick look. You can also erase it like that just to make it all look like smooth and make it the same colour as the skin. Now you will want your colour pencils really sharp for this to get the precision that you'll need. Just blend the red in with the peach and just go over that however much you want until you get the colour you want. Then use your Sakura Jelly Roll to get some highlights. You're gonna be popular. Now this is just for fun to show that you're not limited by normal colours. But I'll use Alphabet as an example and with a fantasy coloured green skin. You'll want G triple O, G double O, YG41, YG06 and G08. We'll start with the G triple O for the base colour and you'll just go over that with your G double O to get in the shadows like with Ariel and just keep blending that in so that it looks nice and smooth now you're going to go in there with your YG41 to get a bit of a cooler looking green colour and for some more shadows now of course you can do this with any colour you'd like. If you want to colour Kurt Wagner from X-Men Evolution, you can use different kinds of blues. So go back in there with your G YG06 and get some darker greens and just keep going over with your main colours to get the nice shading that you that you want. Until you get the colour green or whatever colour you're using till you get the colour you want and you'll want to use the cramp peach colour for your lips as well just as a base even though she will probably have green lips so you'll want to go with your lime green 
and that'll get you more of the color that you're looking for. We wanna be like Peter Pan. Now for Peter Pan I'm going to give him dark skin and you'll want E50, E53, E31, E33, E25 and E57. Now we're going to start with E53. Now just colour in the whole face and then do some shadowing with E31. Once again with Ariel following around the face. And just keep on going over it so that you get the nice dark colours and you can just blend over it with your E50 to get it looking nice and smooth. Now even though he's a boy you will want to do a little bit of lip colour and if your character is blushing and you want to have them with a bit of a blush you can of course use your red colour pencil and just do some nice lines and shading not pressing too hard on your, on your colour pencil while you go. Now you're going to use your black colour pencil like with Ariel and just add some more depth. Now you can just smudge this over with your finger to make it look more smooth. It's a really common technique with colour pencil. Unadulterated loathing.